question 19. So, two lots of A, well we just quite simply multiply both these terms by 2. So two lots of 5 and two lots of minus 2, giving us 10 minus 4. Similarly with part B, again, don't get phased by it being a bit different. Just follow what it's asking you to do. Three lots of B and then we take away C. So three lots of B, well that's three lots of this, so three ones are three, three sevens are 21. And then we're taking away C, so we're minusing a minus 7 and minusing a naught. Now remember, minusing a minus 7 is actually adding a 7, and then obviously the naught is a naught. So 3 add 7 is 10, 21 add 0 is 21. So 10, 21. Now work out the magnitude of the vector A. That just means the size of it. So let's go back to what A is actually telling us. This is telling us 5 to the right and 2 down. So I suggest you do a quick sketch to gather your thoughts. 5 to the right and 2 down. What's the net effect of these two forces? Well, it's the diagonal, so we've actually just got a Pythagoras here. So the magnitude of a squared equals 5 squared plus 2 squared. 25 add 4 is 29. So the magnitude of a is the square root of 29. Give your answer as a third. So we stop there.